Porsche details their new entry-level Roadster. The next-generation BMW Z4 is looking to get more pure. Gypsies on horses in Ireland, and Caddy prices their ATS sedan. Plus, it's Wednesday, so we got a new hump day girl of the week. What up, world watchers? I'm Derek D. This here is Fastlane Daily, and that there is cute as hell. Wow, look, look at those kids. That is just cute. Yeah. All right, Ian, cue the music. That was so cheesy. What is this? Get the ultimate oil change with Royal Purple. High performance motor oil and extended life filter. Royal Purple traps 99.99% of harmful contaminants. And you get extended performance and protection between changes. Get the ultimate oil change with Royal Purple. All right, Ian, welcome back. Thanks. How's Cali? It was beautiful. Good. All right, now we just got to get the whole group back. It's like you here, then they're not here, then Alan's not here. All right, we've heard the rumors about a new entry-level Porsche Roadster, codenamed the 550 Spider. And now we got some details. Looks like the model is set for a 2017 production date. The date was pushed back due to the multitude of models coming out of Porsche's stable in the next couple years, including the new Cayman, the Macan, the 918 Spider. the oh, look at that awesome Porsche that I can't afford. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Now, the model will not be based on VW's Blue Sport concept like originally planned. Porsche has said, quote, we need to concentrate on our cash cows before entering a new segment where profit margins are notoriously critical, unquote. Makes sense with all the studly whips currently being made and soon to be produced. The new model should use a low-cost MSBM platform and will get its power from a turbo 1.6 liter four banger making 180 ponies, 210 ponies, and 240 ponies. Wasn't that a nice equal 30 horsepower bump each time? That's right. You know, sometimes you get like, it's just a weird number, like 283. Porsche's nice and mm, mm, mm. Germans. All right, moving on. The BMW Z4 is a hot little roadster. But it's never stuck with hardcore enthusiasts who say it's not really been a pure sports car. Well, looks like the next generation will be quite a bit more sporty without losing current fans. Style-wise, look for a shorter hood and a conservative shape that will look fly fresh to death for the long haul. No word on engines, but expect many four-cylinder options instead of the outgoing six. For better power to weight figures, of course. If the plan pans out, Expect the next Z4 in 2015. All right, excited about that, Ian? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it is nice. Nice little whip. Now, horse racing is big in a lot of countries, including here in the U.S. We just had the Kentucky Derby. Am I right, Ian? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this past weekend was the Kentucky Derby, which <laughs> I just said. But what happens when you take a couple stallions, tack on some light carriages, throw in two gypsies, and let them run on an Irish freeway? Well, this video kind of explains that, but it's more of a WTF moment. One officer tries to pull over the two gypsy racers, but they continue to swerve across both directions of traffic, endangering all around them. One racer was finally stopped, but the other got away. Got away. How does a man on a horse get away when he's on the carriage part? Like maybe being on the horse and go through the woods or something? But how do they, like, lose him? On the road. Yeah, he's going 30, 35 miles per hour tops. I don't know. Anyway, no one was hurt, but what can I say? Sh gets weird out there. That's about it. If you're watching on YouTube, the link is below. All right. Caddy's BMW 3 Series Fighter, the ATS, will begin sales this summer, and we now know the price. It'll have three engine options. The starting price is looking at $33,990 for the base rear-wheel drive version, using a 2.5 liter inline four, making 200 powers of the horses. This model should offer well over 30 miles per gallon. Next up is GM's new 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder, making 270 horses and 260 pound feet of what, Ian? Torque. That's right, costing 35,795 bucks. Six speed manual and automatic transmissions are available with rear or all wheel drive. The big kahuna, what's the big kahuna, Cat? Will be a 3.6 liter V6. All right, that's great. How you, you just amazingly just showed up. I know. <laughs> awesome. That's right, a 3.6 liter V6 with 320 horsepower, costing 42,090 bucks with an automatic transmission. 
and Cadillac's Q infotainment system standard, plus a bunch of other goodies. GM says the V6 should hit 60 in well below six seconds. By comparison, the base Audi A4 sedan with the 211 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo starts at $33,375. The BMW 328i with 240 2.0 liter turbo starts at $35,795. And the Mercedes C250 with 201 horsepower, that's a 1.8 liter turbocharged four that starts at $35,675. Holy sh that was a lot of numbers. <laughs> that undercuts the BMW and Mercedes by at least 1600 bucks. So it looks like Caddy just said, checkmate. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hey, you guys know what day it is? Of course. What day is it, Cat? It's Hump Day Girl of the Week. No, it's Wednesday, but you're right. Oh. It is Hump Day Girl of the Week. Bam, Melissa Grace. Can I call you Mel? <laughs> it's a picture, she doesn't answer. Now, not only is she a hottie boom bot who models, and has fantastic um, features. But she also drifts. She bought a drift car and is learning and apparently is almost close to being on the pro circuit. So props to her. It's sexy when a chick drives stick. Am I right, Ian? Right. Yeah. Melissa Grace. That's Melissa with a Y. Why? Because we love you. <laughs> and you are FLD's Hump Day Girl of the Week. Aren't you proud? Thanks to Fast Lane Daily fan Francisco. <laughs> Matias. For the suggestion. Yes, Francisco, I just... <laughs> your name. <laughs> That'll be all for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. We're on Twitter, twitter.com slash Fast Daily. We are on Facebook. We are also on YouTube, so subscribe. And guess what? We're back on iTunes. Yes, we are there. Thank you. If you want to go, if you're watching on YouTube, the link to go to our iTunes and subscribe is down there. And if you're not watching on YouTube, wherever you are watching, you can just go to iTunes and search Fastlane Daily and hit subscribe. We're back, all right? We're back. Oh, Derek, where's iTunes? This sucks. I'm not watching until the feed. Next generation BMW Z4 is looking to get more, 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 manure. Caddy prices there, ATS sedan, plus we got a, well, it's <laughs> so cheesy. What is this? Cheese balls nation there. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.